You're listening to the AfterBuzz TV Network. Now the largest new media platform on the web and your number one source for after-show entertainment. Very good, Gene. Johnson. In the AfterBuzz Studios in Los Angeles, California, presented by Maria Menounos and Bing.com, and streaming live thanks to Akamai Technologies, this is AfterBuzz TV's Survivor After Show. We'll break down tonight's episode and get you all the latest news and gossip. If you'd like to buzz in on tonight's show, you can buzz us at 424-256-1729. That's 424-256-1729. And now, another post-game wrap-up show for your favorite TV show. It's AfterBuzz TV's Survivor After Show. Gabon. Gabon. <laughs> Gabon. Hey, Gabon. guys. Bing is for doing. We're here at AfterBuzz Studios in Los Angeles, California, doing another live after show for Survivor Season 26, Heroes vs. Villains. I'm your host, AJ Gibson. We've got a couple of special guests tonight. Justin and Jerry are out this evening. Um, but them. to join Ryan and I tonight on the panel, to my right, we've got Natalie Tenerelli from Survivor One World. Were you no. One World? No. I'm Redemption wrong. Redemption Island. Redemption Island. Oh, <laughs> is that one season off? Uh, yeah. Yeah. One, one, oh. yeah Christina yeah. Chalas One World. Yes. Wow. Yeah. Whoops. Whoops. Oh, well. Whoops. <laughs> Rewind. And also, our reality mother. We love her. You love her. Jillian Larson from Survivor Gabon. That's it. You I got knew it. that you one. I knew it. that one. See? You got Can it. I get an applause? Yeah. Can we get a round of applause, people? <laughs> and some air conditioning. It is hot in here. It, it is. Well, that's because Natalie and I are here. Well, well clearly. that's what it is. <laughs> Mostly you, Jillian, but Natalie's cute, too. Well, thanks. Oh, you, you know better. You know my better. season. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, if you guys, yeah, I know. I feel like an ass. Yeah. How are you going to make it up to me? Well, honey. we'll do that after. <laughs> so if you guys notice, we are wearing uh, a lot of red tonight, and we're going to talk about that a little bit later. But if you can see our shirts say Reality Rality on them, it's actually um, an event that Julian puts on every year, and it's a yeah. wonderful event, and we're going to talk about that at the end of the episode. Yes, we are. Um, but now we're going to dive into this episode. Uh, this is uh, Season 2, Episode 6, Kill or Be Killed. Um, it starts off with the Go to uh, Tribe, Night 7 um, in Survivor World. Uh Episode four, is that, is that what I said? Episode four. It starts off with Eddie and Sherry having an argument. They come back from the previous tribal council, and um, they're just mad. They, they, things aren't going the way that Eddie wants them to go, because his tribes, his, his alliance is being decimated. Right. And Sherry, Sherry's happy. Sherry's getting what she wants. Well, Sherry yeah. kind of went back at him, which that was the first time she was kind of aggressive with him, too. I mean, she's kind of, like, very, like, under-the-radar aggro, but she was, like, in his face a little bit. So. A- A.K.A. Sandra Bullock from The Blind Side. Yes, yeah, she is. She really does look like <laughs> she Sandra does. Bullock she from does. The Blind Side. Yep. Um, I, 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 I don't like Eddie all that much so far. I just think he kind of irritates me. Follows right. I, Reynolds. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I think yeah. he's... Yeah, he's one of the followers. Yeah, I think most seasons we see... Um, a lot of these alliances, with the, the young girls kind of stick together. The young, attractive guys stick together. Although I don't think Eddie's really attractive. But, He's cute. Um, <laughs> Reynolds good looking. But um, they kind of like they they're the ones that made the alliance of four at the beginning of the season, though. Right. On a on a tribe of ten. Yep. They're clearly I mean, they're clearly not the brightest. <laughs> right. How does that work? And now they're not going to be the strongest. They're not. Well. So it's like possibly downhill even more. And Well, at the beginning of the season, it's funny because the very first episode, um, obviously the, the fans won the, won the immunity challenge, and it looked like they're just going to dominate. It looked like they were a really strong tribe. They've got some really strong men. Um, they have I remember sh- we even discussed where, like, it is the um, favorites don't even have it fair because the other guy's team, the other team is so stacked uh-huh. with, like, muscle. I thought that they were just going to get dominated. Well, they have a former Marine in Shamar, right. and and then obviously uh, well, they, well, yeah. we'll talk about <laughs> that in a minute. Well, but yeah. I'm just saying, just like looking at their team and what their professions were and everything, the, the, yeah. Yeah. the fans team looked really solid. Yeah, on paper, I, I will say this, I think that what's really, well, not really surprised me as a fan of the show, I kind of expected this, but the women on the favorites are badass. Yeah. They're all really, they really are. tough. It's like mm-hmm. five Denises. Right. Yep. That makes sense. Yeah. Like, they're all competing at such a high level, right. um, and it's forcing the guys to stay at that level as well, I think. Right. Well, it's, it's somebody, the guys that were that were sort of weak before, like, even Brandon, he wasn't very good at challenges, and we'll go into this later, but, you know, he was, like, really solid. He on really this surprised channel. me. Yeah, Brandon, he, was, he was like and, a... And then Philip was Phillip. a surprise. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Philip is awesome. Oh, I don't wow. want to go there yet. I did don't Con- want to go there. Oh, yeah. Okay. Did Cochran even do the challenge? I didn't. I, oh. Did he sit out? 
No, because he sat out last one, remember? He, so he, he had didn't to do sit out, one. but he, he I don't remember last... seeing him do anything. Because his whole sense of humor thing on his season oh. was him doing challenges, and I've yet to see like a funny yeah, moment well, they with him. Said, they said, when we get to that, they said that um, he sat out last week. So he did do it, but they didn't really show. I, yeah, we anything. didn't see him do anything. Mm. Um, I like the challenges tonight, though. We're not there yet, but I did, yeah. I did like the challenges. Yeah. I like the challenges in general the last couple of seasons. I thought they've been great. Love the challenges. We're all fans, I think, of the water challenges, though. Oh, absolutely. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. We didn't have any on my season. Not, you should have. I think you should have been well, wet. Well, the water was just like, it yep. It was impossible to. Yeah. To, we couldn't do them on ours either because you don't. It was too rough, yep. and it was, yep. it was awful. I knew I was doomed even more than I was. Yeah. When there was no that's water, how, that's like it was the like, only no. preparation I did is is for water. Yeah. I had like a friend of mine teach me how to like. You drank a lot of water. How soon? <laughs> no, I, I, I like. <laughs> she taught me how to like swim and. Um, Wait, you, you I felt like that's swim? like. Yeah. No, no, no. I know how to swim, <laughs> oh. but like correctly, you oh, know, okay. like. Wow. To get better at it. Yeah, how long so, in casting before they tell you when you actually like where you were going, like where your destination was? Um. They well. The season before, they show the, at the, the video of the always yeah. at the finale. Yeah. They show a video of the next location. But so some I knew, seasons overlap. So but I didn't know. I didn't even know I was leaving until two weeks before. Oh, so left. your season, you shot. You were the first because they shoot back to back right. now. So you were the, the first second. one yeah. shot. No, right. you would have been the second. first. Second, second one to oh, back to back. Oh, that's how you had the opportunity yeah, yeah. to see. Right. Oh. No, no, but no. Was, they knew no. too. We knew as well. We we Be saw it at the end of the finale from the season before. But from sometimes the they time. sometimes oh. they don't though because like for instance they don't even know who Malcolm is which means oh, right. they didn't even see that right. one. Well, what what, I mean? what yeah. happened with you guys is yeah. they showed the finale in the spring and you guys shot right. in the summer. Yeah. Right. right now it right. makes sense. Yeah. Right. That makes sense. So How long before you knew where you were going? Because yours was Africa, right? Yeah. Um, Your homeland. My home. Yeah, my homeland. It was. I think that's why Aww. I got on actually because they wanted the African soul there. Yeah. You know, all that sort of thing. We're pick, picking up elephant dung and all that. Are you going to gonna answer my question? Oh, sorry. How long? <laughs> <laughs> it's easy to get carried away. This is an, in that this is an interview. I'm sorry. Uh, I think it was about uh, three weeks. Okay. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. Huh. But I wasn't wow. happy when I saw it. My daughter called me from Boston because she saw it before I did, mm -hmm. the finale saying where it was. And she said, you've got to be so psyched. And when I saw it, and she, I said, well, where? And she says, no, you've got to watch it. So I'm watching the whole thing, what I'm going to be so psyched about. And when it was Gabon, I thought, darn, that's land. I just pretty, dry I pretty much suck on land. I mean, I've got it. I need the water. Yeah. Yeah. And so. that's like typical. It's like Survivor. You think like water. water and right. Well, it used to be. They've done a couple of seasons where they were uh, out, well, well, Outback. Was outback all and dry. Africa were dry. Mm -hmm. right? yeah. yeah. Same thing. But I. that's why I picked Crystal because I'm so good in the water and I figured she couldn't swim, mm -hmm. which she couldn't. Um, and I thought that I needed somebody to be the runner. And that's why I picked her. Yeah. And I'd be the swimmer if there was swimming, which yeah. I knew she probably couldn't yeah. do. And uh, I could actually run better than she did. Yeah. I did. So jealous when I see their wa their ocean. It looks like, like a lot of fun for oh, sure. Oh, awesome. Like, I'd be so clean. I'd be so, like... Yeah, that is one thing that, like, you know? the, I've noticed the last couple of seasons, everybody's kind of pretty all the time. Right. Yeah, they get they to go rinse a off the ocean. Right. Right. So just, like... I don't know about your season, but, boy, awful. we stunk. Awful. We smelled so bad. Natalie actually well. smells bad right now. <laughs> you wouldn't expect it. As pretty as she is, you would have no idea at all. I probably yeah. smell like spray. I was just at a fitness um, I thought you smelled convention. like cigarettes. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Never. Not Natalie Tenerelli. She could smell She's through a good girl. She smells, like, she smells like daisies. She's I probably so smell beautiful. like spray tan because I was just at this fitness convention and we had to... You know, it's because you're a cheerleader. Well, back in the world of Survivor, they smells. don't need the spray tan. Exactly. They just, no. They're well, out Cochran, in the sun. Cochran yeah. particularly. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> poor, poor guy. He's all red all the time. Skinny well, little. I'm all for um, keeping my skin nice. Absolutely. When I'm, uh, when you, I'm older, so as I don't you have be. wrinkles. I don't want to get too many. Are you promoting nice. a skin tanning uh, or a, a spray tanning business <laughs> well, right now? Well, yeah. I mean. <laughs> Back to the island. So uh, <laughs> I like how Eddie, during Eddie and Sherry's argument, Eddie Eddie says to her, he's like, look, how many challenges do you think you guys are going to win? He's basically threatening her. How many challenges do you think you guys are going to win without Reynolds and I? Because, right. it, which is a pretty standard argument to make. Um, and it kind of sets up the entire episode because right. that, that discussion comes, carries on. Yeah, it comes full yep. circle at the end of the episode. Um, but what do we think about that sort of argument, though? Uh, I know we're going to talk about that in Tribal Council, but there is the argument that yeah you need your stronger ones and and some seasons of, of seasons of survivor it makes sense to keep usually the men because men are usually more physically powerful i guess than women um but on the other side 
if you're not winning these challenges with Reynolds and well, Eddie, that's what right. them pointed what out. Great, yeah. like, what good right. are they really doing? That's the right. point. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Right. I don't think they're, they're all that. The fear of just getting worse and worse and worse. Mm -hmm. And that's what I think. I think that is so key in, in this game in Survivor every single season. If you can plant fear into people, that it's such a great way to manipulate people to vote the way you want them to vote and to play the game Definitely. you want them to play. It's like that in life. It's like that in Survivor. It's just a, a more condensed, uh, right. yeah. intense. Yeah. like the news yep. cycle and everything else. Yeah, right? exactly. And I think he, he's trying to do that. And at the beginning of the episode, all I could think was, you're out. You're gonna get out because Sherry's gonna Sherry's gonna pull and you know and and you're gonna be out this episode. Right. Um, didn't turn out that way, but I digress. Yeah, I, th I think <laughs> the point. Well, we're not winning anyway, so why do you think you're making us win? Exactly. Yeah. Maybe. I mean, that right. should have been the thing. Because you, you can make the argument. Three episodes ago. Well, I'm yeah. I'm a firm believer that that and we'll talk about this again in a minute with Shamar. But I'm a firm believer that heart overcomes mm -hmm. any sort of physical prowess. Yep. Every right. time. Yep. Um, I, we've seen season after season after season players go on that look like they should be really physically dominant and just do not have the heart shamar being one of them we're not going to talk about him just yet but when you also say okay there's been a lot of physical challenges lately which clearly means that there's going to be some equalizer yeah. challenges there's mm -hmm. going to be some balancing challenges coming up and everything else and like the smartest thing to do is to get rid of the idol and the threat to your alliance so mm -hmm. that was my opinion and i think you should replace the word heart with trust because it's not well it's, that's part of it that's part of it you, you, it's more do you trust the people that are around you yeah because that's key as well when I which say is so, really and, hard and, to do oh of course yeah, yeah. i and, mean you never trust yeah. anybody but when i say you know, heart i think i mean first you can't give up on yourself yep. because first and foremost you, you have to believe in yourself and come like show up for yourself before you can ever do that for any of your your alliance um so for somebody else to trust you you have to trust yourself and believe in yourself and i don't see a lot of that going on right now on on the gota tribe on the on the fans tribe um but over on the on the on the favorite side, uh, we've got Philip. Philip is a character. <laughs> he he literally blows my mind. He he does this thing where he starts off. We pulls Brandon aside. He tells him he's so impressed with his work ethic, and 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 then Brandon. It looks like he's receptive to it, and then in his confessional, he's like, he's an idiot. He's like I'm lying right. to his face. He's like, what what is he talking about? Well, it's funny we were talking about this a minute ago that you know all of us have met Philip, and none of us have seen this side of Philip until he's actually been on the show doing this and he, not a, no one on the his show with him no one on his tribe <laughs> oh, yeah, that's, right. that's true no one on his tribe is buying it either so like it's all just a big well here's the act. thing about philip it's here's the thing about philip and correct me if i'm wrong but i feel like that's the genius in the character is that exactly he knows it's that everybody else knows that he's so crazy but nobody's willing to do anything about it because right. it's like they know that he knows and he knows that yeah. they know so they all just stay back so he doesn't have to take credit for any of his actions at all he's like, not held accountable at the end of the day mm -hmm. right. it's a character <laughs> yeah he's 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 he he's, might as well have a different name well yeah. he does he does have many names yeah it's, it's like yeah. it's like beyonce in concert she, she becomes sasha fierce that's oh, yeah. a gay reference but it's, it's kind of the same yeah, yeah. thing because whatever really? she performs on stage is not her when she's a mother you know, right. it's a different thing. Philip is out there, he's playing a character, and it's kind of genius. It's kind of working. Yeah, as much as Again, I can't and understand I, I would, him. Yeah, I would think on your season, though, it was different because you guys did not know. Yeah, you didn't. Now By you the know. end, we, we knew. knew. <laughs> yeah, but, but at first, I mean, now we yeah. all know what exactly. Philip was like. So we're sort exactly. of expecting the same craziness. Let's talk right. about some yeah. of your experiences with Philip. Yeah, what, what was yeah. he like? What do you want to know? <laughs> Just tell us, like, what was your first impression and then your last impression yeah, you with go. him? Okay, so in the game, so <laughs> I'm I'm pretty gullible, as you can, you know, no. as people. clearly, never. So at first, you know, you want to believe him, you want to believe his whole story. He's an FBI agent, whatever. He has this company, the CEO of whatever. <laughs> you know, you want to believe him, but like pre-game. So we're I, I don't know how much everybody knows, but like before the game, you're in like you're secluded for like five days, and you're just kind of checking everybody out. You're not allowed to talk to anybody. It's just very. Um, Pretty standard reality pretty show. Standard, yeah. Yeah, pretty yeah. standard, yeah. It's a mind game, so, basically. So he's doing like push-ups, you know. Maybe he's like a army vet. I, I don't, I don't know what he's. Well, last week like. he said that he could still play in the NBA right now. Right. He made that comment last week. Yeah. Uh, so. So then, <laughs> so it went, for, it went very quickly from believing that he was a CEO, whatever, to, you know, thinking he's full of it. So. Um, I don't know. Then he just he started coming up with these stories, and by the end he was like in this full uniform with his feather and his you know his 
whatever he, he took a blanket. His blanket. Oh, he yeah. took his our blanket his and wore it as his... like a, a cape and was like this whole other character. So was it in any character's way? Character's the word. I mean, these he, he really is. He really yeah. is. Yeah. And it's genius because yep. because a lot of other times because he's I would consider him kind. I would consider him a villain if he were on a hero or, uh, uh, heroes versus villains season. I would consider him a villain. But this is a kind of a smart way to take that. Wait, you think he, he was a villain on my yeah. on my season? I think he's a villain now. I think he's I think he's crazy. I wouldn't call him a hero. I think, but I think that it's so funny though, because like sometimes you just like I don't but know. But I'm saying if there's two categories, hero or villain, he's well, definitely not a hero. I mean, well, he's, he's not neither. Huge villain, but but he's, he's, if he had to go neither. to one, he would be in the he villain. He fits into the character ca yeah. category because in each, <laughs> it, not each season, but most of the seasons, there's a character. There's a coach right? or there's yeah. there's yeah. a Shamar. Yeah. This mm -hmm. is the character for this yeah. era. Yeah. There's a character. But sometimes, season. like he, like he's just I don't know, like he'll give you a hug and just like. But he's so I think different he, like, in person. Gave Brenda yeah. a kiss on the cheek and was dancing with Brenda yep. and like that Philip is fun like yep. He was fun what to be around sometimes like he yep. would like recite the poetry and you're so bored out there sometimes You're yeah. just like, like entertainment That's exactly. what that so, Yeah, yeah. You, like I don't know there he is. does have like a lovable side and then I just remember there was moments where I wanted to, to just kill him. Yeah. Well, that's the thing. There is there is a lot of value in being able to entertain your tribe mates. I think because yeah. because what we see on TV is such right. a small right. fraction Portion. of what actually right. happens. It's days yeah. and days of yep. nothing. No television. Yeah. No it's, nothing. It's You're one just minute out of every routine. Routine. Yeah. yeah. One minute out of every three hundred minutes that's used. I that was we just see. like, give me the Robert Frost. I don't really care right now. Just the what? The, the Robert, Robert Frost. Frost. <laughs> I thought you said the yeah, rubber frost. I thought you said the rubber frost. I thought her too. The rubber frost. Okay, we, we're not going to go there. Know. What about all the Boston Rob references? Like he's like, like he got the Boston. Oh, Rob I know. Bible. He like, like out, won't stop. He's out of control. I know. It's funny. You can he, tell. He he just. Well, he said he for the to. first season, he said that he recognized very early that Rob was going to go far because he was surrounded by people that thought Rob was the coolest guy ever. Um, so he saw this, and he Philip knew he wasn't the coolest guy ever. So he picked the character to play. Um, that he was going to be the distraction. Do you so believe th that? I don't know. <laughs> so Rob could just go in it's and a around. Good theory. Do you believe it? <laughs> right. Yeah, or do you not? Yeah, See, that's yeah. why he's so that's good. Right. Is that you that's just right. don't you know. just don't know? He, he said he was going to be the distraction, and he was. I mean, the the feather, the blanket, the underwear, the yeah. you know the, the I underwear. I bet he's a great poker player. Like I really don't yeah, know. Yeah, you wouldn't really know. No clue. Mm -hmm. No clue. I'm interested to see if if they switch up the tribes this season. Because some seasons, they haven't done it a lot in the last few seasons where they just completely like, switch. I think they will. I think they will, too, because they I need to. We all think, well, we all think that this this season, like a lot of them recently, is tailor-made for one of the favorites to come back and win. Yep. Um, and Which, who would that be, do you think? Brenda. I think Brenda. Brenda? I think Brenda or Malcolm, I think. Um, because Malcolm's fresh in everybody's minds. Everybody really loved Malcolm. Mm -hmm. Brenda's my favorite. I don't I, know I, why Brenda's I, and I don't know, out to me as, like, as, so a, much. as a fan, Brenda's my favorite. Right. I love Andrea in real life. She's a friend of mine, so I, I'm pulling for her, obviously. Yeah. But as a, a pure fan of the show, I think that I felt like Brenda should have gone or could have gone so much further her season. I feel like she's such a smart player and never quite just got her footing. Um, I felt like she could have won. But well, it was... The, the one thing that she said that she was going to do differently is make friends with, make stronger relationships with the people on her tribe. But I haven't seen that at, well, all. at all. They're not yeah. showing that at all. Mm -mm. But that's also part of the so, whole editing thing. You, I mean, right. I don't know, but we whenever you the, don't yeah. see people much, that was bad English. Right, but she's like, um, you know that they're going to go further. We Every time about, they yeah. do show her, it's like she's very, she's secluded. She's right. yeah. all by herself. All yeah. On the side. Yeah. 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 So that's interesting to me. Well, well she was giving Philip gave her the name. What was her name? What was Philip's name? Serenity. Serenity. Yeah. There you go. Serenity. Yes, yeah. Serenity. I wonder about that because we do see a lot of her like off doing her own thing by herself. But again, one out of every 300 minutes, you said. Yep. You right. can make it look like anybody is secluding themselves. I'm sure at yeah. some point you go away for five minutes and just sit by yourself throughout the day, anyways. And if they just show that one clip, it looks like That's you're doing it every day. Yep. Right. They well, the editing her, is yep. like let's either show her like chatting with people and being communal, or mm -hmm. show Philip being crazy. Because here's the thing: I think but, that if she were to go off early. She's so hot, just for hotness factor alone. I think they would be showing a lot more for right now. You're what about Hope? She's gorgeous. Eh, whatever. She's, She's. I'm not a fan of the fans. I just don't care. Other than Sandra Bullock, light. 
<laughs> Sherry, I, mean, I don't really care about any of the fans yet. That's it. it. That's it, just takes, I like. it always takes a while. Of course, to latch you have to bond them. with them, and they have to do something that touches you, basically. Yeah. The only reason last year I think I loved Sherry and Malcolm so quickly is because they lost Denise. every. Denise. Or, I'm sorry, Denise and Malcolm. Go. They lost every single right. immunity and, challenge. And they got so yeah. much airtime because they were deflated. You were b bonded to them from the beginning. But they were the ones when you talked about heart or spirit or whatever it was that people need to. They had it. Oh, from absolutely. From the beginning, that's what that's what people need in the game. Well, if is you lose, that feeling. If you're going to lose five or six immunity challenges in a row. Yep. And still think you have a fighting chance, and then go on to win and, the show. And to keep going. Like the tri yep. Wasn't it a tribe yep. of six? It was like small. Yeah, tribe yep. that's yep. all heart. Yep, and that's what it is. Mm -hmm. And the people that don't have that, and I think that's one of the things I don't really like about uh, you know people that really didn't care about the game but got on because it'll be cool, mm -hmm. is they don't have that drive that they want to do something more. And that's what breaks our hearts too, because you, unfortunately you didn't get to, get to meet him. But uh, Justin, our other co-host, this uh, I've met he, him. he was here yeah, last I've year. Met him, you met yeah. him last year. Yeah, yep. He is such. He is the biggest fan yeah. of Survivor. I thought I was the biggest fan of Survivor. He is literally the biggest fan of Survivor on the planet. He can tell you names of tribes pre and post merge from seasons eight years ago. He tells you names, tribe names, color, like names of like the votes. He's a crazy person. Who voted for who and like week, like, or day seven on season crazy. eight. Like, he's That's crazy. Like we bad. talked about him last time He's I was like here. those crazy people, like, at the reality conventions that, like, are standing out front with all your pictures. But, but not really. But, but here, like, he, over the top yeah. crazy. With, like, these outrageous questions that I would never even it's remember. It's like, do you right. remember <laughs> when you said to so-and-so yeah, in the yeah, second, yeah. In the second no episode, and right. I'm thinking, what? What did I, I say? Even... Yeah, it's like... So, like, so yeah. when I see these That's fans... That's a fan. Yeah, I see these fans, it drives me crazy because I'm like, Justin's a good-looking guy, too, and he would compete. I think he'd do really well on the show. Yeah. Actually, and he's he's submitted so many different times, well, and I'm just like, oh, put somebody like him. Well, on none the of the fans they've never even said how much they're a fan of the show yet. Like they've never really said. Like, remember when Cochran was on? And Genius. He knew Cochran's he was a, a fan, fan, and he was from yep. the very beginning was like, I'm just love to be here. But and like, there's been a couple other characters like him. And that none of the fans have really resonated with us in that way in at the, all. In, in the finals. I do too. I, I, really really like I love his humor. He brings Brenda. He's the one liners. Yeah. Yeah. He has like a, the gay man sense of humor. Love yeah. it. I, I wrote this down actually later in the episode because Cochran said last week, he goes, I just can't believe it. It's like Wednesday night at 8 every single day. Yeah. Like he's so excited <laughs> to be out there again. I love and him. that's. That's what makes fans latch on. That's what makes Survivor successful, is when right. you have genuine, likable people that you can relate to right. and you pull for. Well, because right. that's who's stuck with the show, is mm -hmm. people people like him. Yeah. There's not a whole lot of people, right. like, just, you know. I think he yelled at me on my Facebook page this week, too, by the Co way. Cochran? Cochran? Yeah. <laughs> the picture of me from last week wearing Team Andrea's shirt. Oh. He, was uh. like, he was like, nice pick. <laughs> and I was like, I'd wear your shirt, too. Send it. Send it. Send the it after in. buzz. <laughs> So, let's start off with the reward challenge. Let's move on to that. Um, this one's a cool one. Again, another great water challenge. Uh, yeah. They have to, one at a time, basically go across these sort of blocks. They're kind of like lily pads. Do you ever do the yep. lily pads as a Absolutely. kid? Absolutely. They have to run yep. across these blocks. Which like a typhoon, a typhoon lagoon. Except typhoon they would, and they don't have the padding <laughs> yeah, that a lily pad does. And, and, there's and no, edges. And there's no net above to hold on to to help <laughs> right. you get across. Yep. And very quickly, they find out that they're just going to wipe out. So it looks, it's difficult. Um, right. they it's have like wipeout. It does look like wipeout. It does wipe look out. like wipeout, yeah, actually. Survivor, survivor wipeout. Little shout out to ABC. Yep. Um, <laughs> and then uh, they have to go across one at a time out to a platform. And then from that platform, they have to dive into the water, swim out to another contraption, climb up, grab a stick, jump off, and uh, break a tile and release a ball that has a key attached to it. Swim back to land, and then the next person goes. It's, it looks exhausting. Right. It's and then there's, they have to unlock. Yeah, and you have to going. keep in mind, even if there's just any undertow or a little bit of a current or just a, even the, the slightest waves, it is hard to swim in the ocean. It's right. not like you're in a swimming pool. Right. So this looks pretty exhausting. It looks pretty epically big yeah. in scope, too. Yeah. Like it looks pretty. And if it looks big on, on TV, on yeah, TV it, is know, it is twice yeah. as hard as you think it is. Well, because, it's... well, right away, I, I feel like uh, Brenda and Andrea. Just killed it right out the gate, and they yep. really, really stepped up. Again, the women on this tribe are just phenomenal, I think. Um, but Sherry really struggled. Yep. Sherry had to go a couple of times, and that gave the favorites a quick lead. Mm -hmm. um, and then when Sherry got back, like I was like, "Why aren't you running?" Because I like Sherry. I want her to mm. like. But she was so exhausted by the time she hit the sand. She's just, just getting back to that platform, just to uh, right. to the mat to trade off. Um, so it has to be an exhausting challenge, right? Well, it's remember, we only see it for a few minutes as well. Yeah. We don't see how long some of these take. How long? How long do challenges generally? Uh, how, how long can they run? A few hours. 
Yeah, really? I mean, it depends on the challenge. It depends yeah. on the challenge. You know, um, we were at yeah. challenges for a really long time yeah. sometimes. Yeah. sometimes. 30 seconds on camera and right. for two right. hours or three right. hours. But this is one of those challenges when you stand on the platform before you hit the tiles off. You have to really think about how hard you're going to hit it, how far you have to where jump, you're gonna hit where it. you're yep. going to land, yep. and all these other things at the same time. And like, if you just get to the top of the stairs exhausted and just jump and not have a plan, that's why Sherry missed. Yeah, I think you have to really be able to... Um, compose yourself in that in that moment and just yeah. understand Be that by taking five extra seconds now you're yep. going to save yourself yep. a minute and a half right and not panicking mm -hmm. in the rush part because that all, no matter what you tell yourself I'm not going to rush I'm going to think it, it's almost impossible to fight that you're really urge. just jumping and swinging yeah. which isn't hard but it can become very difficult well, if you're just panicking and when you're tired and and you've got to do that whole moving forward thing while your arm yeah. gets up while you hit it. Mm -hmm. Plus the and pressure. it wasn't big. I mean, they were. I'm so six five. Nice I could probably just stand there. Ryan, I could stand there and like <laughs> right. just, just keep swinging while we're standing <laughs> yeah, on the platform. Just throw it back. <laughs> no, but also with this thing, there no one really talks about. There is the pressure of competition, which makes you weaker too. <laughs> and you're you want to look good on camera. You don't want to look terrible. And they haven't really. You, yeah, haven't, you, you have all these thoughts in your yourself. head. You know I mean, so that makes you nervous, which makes you extra tired, and it's just. And it's not like you you do this on a regular basis. Right. Well, I do. Yeah. Swing. And tiles all day. Have you not been to Reality Rally? <laughs> yeah. 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 Seriously. Right. Seriously. Yeah, we had people dropping like flies. Well, not dropping like flies. No, but, we uh, did. We yeah. did. One of them was on my team. Yeah, one of them was me. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so they get out to a pretty quick lead, um, and and it comes down to uh, Philip has a huge lead. By the time they get back and get all their keys, they have to unlock this chest, right? And then they have to grab these like these balls that are wrapped in some cloth and throw them pretty far. And the balls actually look pretty heavy too. And they have to knock over blocks, which kind of struck me at first because this challenge probably did take a long time yep. right um and they had to there's a platform with all these blocks stacked in their their team colors and you had to knock all of them off right which to mm -hmm. me seemed kind of impossible i'm like that's going to take a long time and philip gets off to a huge lead but then reynold again reynold is always throwing something for his team right it always comes down to reynold and somebody it's usually always. malcolm um then it looks like Reynolds catching up for a while. And this is one of those instances where I feel like it actually probably was a pretty close finish because a lot of times in the edit, it might look a lot closer than it really was in actuality. Yeah. But as they panned away and you could see both at the same time, um, they were actually pretty close. Yeah. Um, but Philip. He was awesome. Philip, Philip, right. Philip. And I never gave, actually, I never gave Brandon credit either. I want to give Brandon credit for his swimming segment. When right. Brandon swam, yeah. he was like a dolphin. Well, he made it across <laughs> the whole thing across without, the lily pad. without falling yeah. the lily pads. It was yeah. almost like he was He's done in it. air. He was like a frog. Yeah, yeah. He was, so, he was like so one like... of those lizards that run on water. Yeah. Yeah. It really yeah. shocked me. Yeah. Because he's so grounded. He's yeah. so like, you know. Well, that's true. Well, I think, right. I, I think we need to like take a... uh, Philip and Reynolds <laughs> to the fair and play one of those games. Where yeah, we, we knock, over the, knock over the milk bottles. Yeah. And take Brandon to one of those ropey things that you yeah. crawl up and you oh don't fall God. off. You Just drop like Brandon it. in the lake and no. hit it. No, but Philip, <laughs> Philip really impressed me. Yeah, he, he looked, was. <laughs> which, this, is, this is why I respect Philip, okay? Because he plays this crazy character in the game, but when it comes down to compete, he competes. That's and right. you could tell he had steel in his eyes. Yep. And that is everything. That just shows his heart, his competitive nature. Yep. He was so focused on winning that challenge. He forgot he, to be crazy. He, exactly. Absolutely. And that's, that's what makes Absolutely. me deal with him because I actually like him then. Yep. I hate the crazy stuff because I'm I'm weird. I, I like to, I like seeing people like last season, Lisa Welchel. I Be real. It, yes. And to see her go through the transformation she went on, and I did, I felt like it was completely genuine, and I felt like it really affected her. I understand what that's mm -hmm. like. I've been through that. It, my experience really affected me, so I could relate to that. And to see the realness is what makes me watch Survivor. Yeah. So the character of Philip really irritates me. But when he was competing as an as an athlete, I respect that. And he and was I, awesome. He was so good. I mean, I don't think he missed one. Obviously, no. we didn't see every throw. And I can but... imagine. I mean, his arm, his shoulder had to have been burning. Right. He was taking some heavy breaths, br breathers, and, like, pausing, which means he probably was there. Yeah. Did course. we skip the yep. reward challenge, too? No, that is the reward challenge. I, In the very beginning. The I thought little, the reward the challenge was the one going back and forth, and they ran across... And then they all had to stand on that thing. What's the one where they we piled up? We did skip up? the reward challenge. Yeah. yeah. Are we going backwards? Uh, must be. It's the, the, I went yeah. right, to the tr uh, right to the immunity challenge. Because okay. I'm, not, you guys, I am so on we fire We missed the today. medevac. <laughs> we missed everything. Wait, uh, you need to talk about the little Because that was after they were Here's what we're going to do. We're going to flip it and we're going to talk about the reward challenge next. 
How about go. that? This is kind of like Star Wars. Did, did it goes nobody, backwards. Did nobody catch this the last 10 minutes we've been talking about this? I, I got it right <laughs> now. Well, I'm thinking. <laughs> you guys are all going along this is, the a, this is clearly the AJ show. So. No. I, I figured you knew what you were doing. Oh, God, no. I have Maybe no idea. Maybe this is the format. They're the guests. You yeah. know what it really is? Here's the thing. Ryan and I are really shit hosts, to be honest with you, but Justin Walter is fantastic. <laughs> he knows this show inside and out, doesn't take a single note. I have three pages of notes over here, and I literally have them in front of me, and I'm still reading You're obviously notes. on page two. You should turn back to page one. Oh my. No, I'm on page one. I'm even looking oh. at it, and I just I wrote down Brenda and Andrea, and that was the wrong challenge. That was the challenge later. Yeah. No, it was the pile. <laughs> was the it was everybody challenge. piling on top yes. of each other. I'm confused. Now. It was the pig I know. pile. I'm, I'm already zoned out. Let's get some wine. I'm about, to, I'm about to start. The, I'm about to start this show over, you guys. Hey, you guys. If you guys are listening to us on iTunes. First of all, thank you for bearing with us. Thank you for bearing with me. And I want to let you guys know that we do really appreciate everything you guys, all the comments you guys give us. We do comment back. I get on there a couple times a week and comment back. So please keep doing that. Also, rate us. Give us five stars, please. Um, just forget about this episode because I'm really messing things up right now. But um, <laughs> tell your friends about us as well. There's also an app for your iPhone. Um, it's called Podcast with an S, where you can have all of your favorite AfterBuzz shows automatically downloaded onto your iPhone each and every day. So you can listen to us at your leisure. Also, if you guys are on uh, YouTube watching us right now, now, uh, thank you, and leave comments there as well, and we will comment back. So we do appreciate you guys. Someone from um, Mongolia was, was somebody from Mongolia. Yeah, was that's awesome. commenting last week. This awesome. is crazy. Awesome. Yeah, we we have how how many downloads are we averaging right now per week? Twenty five million. Twenty five million wow. downloads a week. Pretty in cool. In over seventy five countries. Including, over eighty. And over eighty now. We've hit the eighty mark. That's right. Including it's because of Mongolia. Exactly. Because of our fan in Mongolia. That's which is so pretty cool. cool. So I'm. I wonder if he's. Uh, like way out there and a the, stereotypical yeah. thought, you know, he's right. riding a yak or something. <laughs> or, or he lives <laughs> in a high rise somewhere. Yeah, right. <laughs> Let us know. That's pretty cool. Yeah. So hey, Mongolia, tell us. So now that we know that the the favorites <laughs> win the immunity challenge, let's backtrack a little bit and go to the reward challenge, which yes. they also won. Maybe if these tribes could maybe win one, win one, one, win the other, it might right. help me a little bit. It's all bit. the same. Oh, it would be so crazy. In the reward challenge, which was also in the water, which was yes. also very cool, Andrea and Brenda did start off to an early lead. This is the one where they had to have the the platforms that they had to hold on their shoulders. That's right. And they had to run across them. This is in the opening, the first the ten opening. Yes. Okay, so I yes. missed this yes. the first ten minutes. No, you were here. You were in studio <laughs> right on time. No. Natalie. I'm kidding, Natalie. I'm trying to save you right now. Well, that's you're why, so gullible. You usually no, don't. Natalie, so. that's why that's why you didn't correct me because yeah. you weren't here for it. Exactly. No idea. Well, yeah, I don't want to talk about that's something I Natalie, didn't see. Natalie was sitting in the lobby. Just think, I don't know what she's like. I'm Cause, here. Cause I'm like, well, walk back here. Because your your entrance guide told me to sit down, so I sat down and I was <laughs> on my phone. Since when do you listen to people? <laughs> She is young. She's one of the you youngest youngest players in the history of Survivor. She is one of the youngest. Cut her some slack. So I am the youngest. You, I was going to say oh, you were are the you youngest. Are? Yes. Oh yeah, we want you 19. Excuse me. Yeah. Was, I'm yeah. going to walk off set See, right I'm now. See, I'm turning yeah. into super fan here. I remember you, you were 19. Yeah. You're Justin Walter. <laughs> well, we'll try. I'll pretend. <laughs> yeah, right. Every time a new season comes out, I, I that's the first thing I make sure. I'm like, am I still the youngest? Yes. That's kind of a cool title to have. Yeah. Well, I always yeah. look for the oldest because I'm only one of nine <laughs> that have played that have been over 60. We thought you were the sluttiest. <laughs> <laughs> well, That's why you got on the show, Jillian. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. You know what? what the slutty or the old? On our season of our show. Both. <laughs> it we makes, we were the gayest. <laughs> yeah, we were. On our season of our show, though, the only season that's ever aired because it was canceled, I had the very first line and the very last line of the season, of the series. Hey, we've all got season. some. So what, what are you famous <laughs> for, then? Nothing. You're the youngest. I was one My of the oldest. My knee-high socks trended on Twitter. They did oh, trend on Twitter one day. Day one. Thank so, you. So they have to make it out to these, these platforms, and each team has to have two girls go across uh, these platforms one at a time. They're not allowed to just carry them on a platform. They have right. to. You keep rotating. Which was um, cool. Yeah, which was really cool. Um, I loved, then they had to get out to this one platform. The entire tribe had to get up, and all their feet had to be on the platform or stacked above somehow, and they had to hold it for five seconds. Um, it looked like the fans were going, going to be able over. to pull it no, well, no, it looked like the fans were going to be able to pull it off because it looked like the favorites were about to fall over. The favorites got together, and the entire group literally was swaying to the side. I didn't know how they held on to that. I have no idea. And... Apparently, Shamar thought that they won because Shamar started yeah, screaming. Yeah. Like, yeah. That's yeah. what I'm talking Take about. That. Yeah. <laughs> no. And then Philip's like, you guys just lost. Right. <laughs> Which was so genius. He said that? I don't know what he said to him. So exactly. He looked at yeah. him yeah. and he said, you guys said, lost. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so funny. I love yeah, that. Yeah, it was like a full read. But we were talking about this earlier. Like, Shamar's like as big as two people. And like, on this episode, you really could tell how big he was when he had his shirt oh. off. Like, he's huge. Yeah. Massive. Like, like and he took up the whole way they're going to win. I mean, he was like another platform. I would have just jumped on him like this. And, well, and and he's yeah, he's not just big, he's fat. 
Like, you know how, like, and I'm just gonna say it. Because, no, Whoa. because he is. He's fat. Like, he's a former Marine, so, like, I think a lot of times. He's like, big boned. Right. <laughs> I think that a lot of times, like, people who are, like, men who were, like, or guys who were, like, college football players, like, they're, like, linemen or, or ex-Marines. It like was this guy, muscle. They, or they think it was. But, the, and they, but then they maintain that lifestyle afterwards. Well, they're not doing the physical activity anymore, but they're still eating the same way and, like, living the same way. And they just get big. He's fat. Well, his, his arms are, like, my size. Oh, I mean, twice he's the like size. Huge. Oh, yeah. absolutely. And uh, I just loved seeing I just loved seeing him think he won for a moment. <laughs> then he gets back, back to camp. That's funny. I have um, to go back and well, see they get back that. to camp, and for the reward, the favorites get uh, a little a little Filipino guy. They call him Malcolm. Calls him a Filipino oh, golem. That, right? that yeah. was the beginning of the episode. Yep. Uh, his name's Tata. Yep, something. Tata. I mean, Let's say Tata. I think any of us are gonna remember his name. I, yeah. well, I wrote I just, down. I wrote down Gollum. Yeah. yeah. Well, he comes back. He's basically a local who comes back to cute. show them how to improve their living situation, how to cook That's in the wild, awesome. that which was is pretty so cute. neat. Yeah, That's awesome. It, he, he fixed their uh, shelter, yeah. everything for he them. He taught them how to cook rice and bamboo. He was cooking everything in that. Everything. Bamboo, which yep. who knew? I, I mean, I don't live around. I, I knew. Bamboo. You did. I knew, but well, we didn't have bamboo. Well, that's lucky. <laughs> what? Lucky for what? For, no, lucky. for not for you. <laughs> for nobody. <laughs> <laughs> um, but as soon as the Gota tribe gets back to camp. Shamar, what does he do? He goes right to sleep. Yeah, per Again. usual. Yeah, and and then not only does he do that, when Sherry was talking to him and a couple of the other tribe mates in his alliance, his loose alliance, um, he <laughs> says, he looks and says, y'all going to bring me rice once a day. He demands it. And then Sherry did it. No, he will stick around. Yeah. Right. If he you won't bring leave. me to, yeah. yeah. I won't leave I won't if you bring quit. Because he tried to quit last quit. episode. Yeah. Basically, oh. he's not going to do anything around camp. He's not going to add much to the challenges, and he's just going to sit there and, and be, be waited on. No way. And then and like, she took it to she him. She did it. And Sherry even said, she's like, I don't need to do this with my own husband. <laughs> but, but then she did. <laughs> but she, well, she's playing the game. She's trying to. She's trying to. Not make enemies. But don't you think right. everyone else is gonna like watch her do that? Yeah, I would think, think it would be more of, of a negative for her. Well, than, see, uh, her, than positive. Her, her philosophy, obviously, from the beginning, is that she wants to bring him, her be the, him Phillip. be the Philip. Well, that's right. true. But right, he right, is right. such a loose cannon and so out of control. Like I had this fear that he was gonna take it too far, that yeah. it was gonna backfire. Well, the thing with Philip, and here's here's where his value comes in. He's crazy and ridiculous, but you know he's always gonna be crazy and ridiculous in the game. Right. You can you can and he's you can understand relief, him. Yeah, you can like understand him a little bit. But also Whereas having go ahead, sorry. Shamar's all over the place. Right. And that you you cannot be in alliance with those types There's of people. There's that, but also right. you know, Philip is crazy, but Philip obviously does stuff around camp. He's an uh, right. asset in the he challenge. Definitely... So like who cares how annoying they are at He's a hard worker. Yeah, right. He's right. So that that adds worker. to it. So like you have all that added to it, it just makes it really really difficult. And well and then Shamar apparently says that he scratched his eye with some sand or something. Um, I'm surprised it was at least open. I mean, most of the time his eye was shut. So. <laughs> 20 that hours a night. He was doing it while he was sleeping. Oh, no, it was yeah. probably from him laying in the shelter right. and something from the top of the shelter yeah. fell down. So I never thought of that. That's, and his eyes were open. That's probably what happened. Which is a surprise. Yeah, he was watching everybody else get his food for him. Yeah, yeah right. he wasn't laying well, in the shelter Well, mind you, it's day. a full storm, too. Like, it was the weather was well, yeah. really, really crazy. It wasn't during the storm that the thing fell well, in his eye. Well, no, but then... It it was it was all it that was whole kinda, night that that whole sequence it all kind of kind of went together a little bit True. um they i wrote down hurricane and rats right. <laughs> that's what i wrote down cuz there were rats running across their 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 uh their site because when it panned back to them he was sort of rocking back and yeah. forth having that weird like he had a puffy eye breakdown. Right. yeah and they actually called medical out and and his tribe <laughs> the funniest thing is his tribe could care less <laughs> and they, I, I don't feel That like was the best part of acting I've ever seen on Survivor, but on everyone's behalf. That was the on flattest, him yeah. And everyone else. Like, he's crying and, like. I love how the girls are, like, like linking arms, like, getting yeah, to, him help to, the, him along. to the, to the bow. It's like, he doesn't, he can walk. He has, he has a scratched eyeball. He has which a scratched eyeball. I'm surprised eyeball. they didn't, like, do a little dance when he left. I mean, that's what they should have like, done. Do let's let's have funny. some realness on the show, for yeah. God's sake. Yeah, did. It, was, it tried to be, like, a tender moment. It just wasn't. But it wasn't, because they said, you know, whoever it was said, you know, he's going to be he's going to be going out and they stood there and they said oh sorry i wrote down on the paper i said i wrote it down was like sorry. such a flat i'm so oh sorry sorry <laughs> and what killed me is that because i wrote down no one genuine exclamation part exclamation no. point nobody oh. was genuine no. what really killed me is that jeff probst was like you're such a passionate player and you've been really a team leader and you've been really a cheerleader encouraging everybody encouraging i'm like what, yeah. what? I'm like who are you what what, what show, show are you watching, watching? yeah <laughs> he was That's in pre-production for the jeff probe show yeah. wasn't paying attention yeah he just yeah <laughs> i would also say this though i know i agree i also said that the they weren't very genuine but i also would tend to agree or maybe you guys agree or not 
that if someone genuinely does get hurt, then it sort of changes in your mind. Because then you're like, oh, he, you don't want someone to actually get physically hurt or something no, happen to him. You know but I mean? people get in that mentality for sure. Right. There was I'm one... saying I can, that can change it really quick. Like all of a sudden I can't stand you and all of a sudden you hurt your ankle and you're being medevac. You're like, oh, well, I can't stand her. But like I didn't want her to like hurt to her ankle. To be fair, Still. I don't know how true that really is. I know. When we were getting, our, really we were, when we were getting our butts handed to us week after week on our show and then one of the gypsies rolled an ankle... I was happy. I, I knew he was, it wasn't life-threatening, but I was like, if that gets them out of here, great. And I genuinely was like, good. Because they weren't good. It's I, really... They were jerks. Right. And, like, you get to know people and you're living with them for a couple of weeks. If Shamar's not a good guy and Shamar it's not life-threatening, they're going to go be able to take care of him, I'd be like, good. Good riddance. Get out of here. I mean, that's just me, though. I'm pretty blunt, but... Yeah, if they no. if somebody's really really injured, it's a well, you know, yeah. I mean, I Russell that, Swan nearly dying. I mean, it was like dear God. Right. Yes, I've never um, had. I didn't have an experience like that. But when we merged tribes mm -hmm. on on my season, which um, was not one world, it was not. Yeah, that was the hot girl season. Go and, ahead. And and like food, <laughs> like we it. wouldn't. They wouldn't even share their food with us. They wouldn't share their um, their fishing supplies with us. Uh, and we're starving. Like, we had maggots all in our rice. We had nothing left. And they wouldn't, sh they wouldn't share with us. And I was like, wow. This is like, it was a huge reality check. Yeah. Like, these people, this is what people will do for a million dollars. Do you still hate them? No. <laughs> that's, no. that's why they no. did it. They no, knew. I mean, I, you come I, back, you're all everything's fine. You're having a drink. With them I at know, the bar. but well, that's just my personality. Well, that's the great like. thing. Well, a lot of people, a lot of people don't get over it. I, though. Do, I have my dislike. We have, yes, we have a don't. lot of Survivor friends and yep. friends on other, all, all kinds of reality shows that still the yep. animosity that Absolutely. started on day eight is yeah. still just yep. as strong today. It is. We you don't get along with a lot of people on our yeah. cast either. Yeah, a couple of teams. But you know, the interesting thing is, people sitting on the couch, and we've all been there. I mean, before we got on anything. Thing, was we'd look and say, what's the matter with them? It's just a game. Yeah. But boy, when you're in it's any of not. these, it's yes, it is a game, but boy, it's so, so real, real to you. And it's as a viewer, world. even though I cover the show now and I have for a couple of seasons, as a viewer, I still get such hatred for certain players, and then I interview them. They come in studio or I meet them you in an event them. somewhere, and I'm like, oh, I'm really sorry. You're actually pretty nice. Yeah. Right. And I yeah. badmouth them on the show all yep. the time, and then I meet them, and I'm like, oh. The thing why the yeah. game is so real, too, is just because you are completely cut off from civilization. I know yep. we've talked about this before, but yep. that's why it's so intense because you, you don't have anything else. Like, during the course of your day, you go to work, you take a phone call, you see something on the news or the television. When you have absolutely that's nothing else, that literally is your world. And, like, there's no other way to recreate that yep. in our current And conditions. then the hunger well, for our season, I mean, Survivor, not necessarily our season, but... This, it's it changes you when yeah. you're hungry, you're tired, mm -hmm. you're thirsty. Yeah. We talked about that last week. Yeah, yeah. you smell. I and mean, it's also, like all of that. Right. Also, what is there a certain zone? I assume that you're not allowed to leave. Oh yeah. Yeah. So oh, you yeah. can't really get that far away from your tribe if you right. want to. You can't just go on an excursion for a day and like get away from everybody. You kind of have no, to stay around and everybody. No, you wouldn't do that. Anyways, because yeah. well, I I tried to defect actually the day I thought I was going to be booted or I was pretty sure because they just we couldn't get Randy to swing with us so that mm. I wouldn't be and it would be somebody else. So I took the African canoe thing out and I went out paddling, and so production obviously came to follow because I was standing up paddling. It was because I know I just yeah. stand up paddle stuff uh -huh. and all that, and so I went everywhere. I was looking for the other tribe. I thought nobody's ever defected in Survivor. I can't stand it back here with these people anymore. <laughs> I am going to find the other tribes. Yeah. I looked for about two hours. I pretended I was looking for elephants and monkeys, and uh, I just went pedaling. You, pedaling, you didn't pedaling. feel paranoid, like by leaving? No, like I that wanted to. I wanted to see what was happened. Going to talk about you yeah. or something? Um, she was already convinced. I knew I was yeah. going to go because the people oh, okay, that were with me you, okay. said, "You know, hey, we can't get the fifth person to vote with us, so we're going to have to go with the majority, which wasn't gotcha. with me." Gotcha. Um, so I knew it was going to be me, and so I thought, God, I am going to go and find the other tribe. So I went, and I went all over the place on this lake on this pedal, stand-up paddling thing, so and I was funny. going everywhere. And I heard all this noise in the jungle after I'd gone around one of the bends, and I said, oh, there's the other tribe. Of course, I'm talking to myself, but sort of production. And somebody <laughs> said, that's your tribe. <laughs> I'd gone to the way back of oh, where all way back. From the back end of where they were camped, and they were making so much noise. I thought it was the other tribe. I got so excited. Wouldn't that have been cool? Well, that yeah. would have been crazy. Defecting. Nobody's ever defected. I, would like I wonder if they would have stopped you. I, don't, I wanted to know. I they wanted to know. Would have, yeah. Don't you think? What was like? What were, were their reactions what, as you were doing it? Were they just kind of like following you? Like, could, you know, because you could see what they're oh, the how they're production? feeling. They're yeah. Like this crazy lady's taking yeah, us on a like, wild goose chase. Like, yeah. 
Well, I was paddling faster than their boat was actually <laughs> put, 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 putting them. And they said, hey, wait, you're going funny. too fast. I said, yeah, I'm in a hurry. <laughs> so, <laughs> that's hilarious. Yeah. That's, that's hilarious. I was so bummed I couldn't find the other tribe. I thought it would be such a cool moment. I mean, uh, me arriving at the other tribe, like, yeah. hi, here I am. Hey, what's going that on? That would create a memorable moment. Yeah. And I was, cool. I was done with mine. I wanted to be somewhere else. <laughs> that's exciting. Yeah, I didn't find them, though. That's funny. Well, you know what else is exciting, you guys? There's a lot going on here at AfterBuzz, and we just want to take a moment to to tell you how excited we are uh, to announce the theatrical release of Adventures of Serial Buddies. Uh, it's a hilarious new uh, killer comedy, a uh, buddy comedy, actually, produced by AfterBuzz TV founders and CEOs Maria Menounos and Kevin Undergaro. Uh, the film, uh, the movie stars two broke girls, Beth Barris, uh, Artie Lang, Kathy Lee Gifford, Christopher Lloyd, Christopher McDonald, Maria Menounos, and the voice of Henry Winkler. Uh, it's like Dexter meets Dumb and Dumber, and it's open in select cities this Friday, March 8th, so you guys have to go out and check it. Um, if you're in New York City and L.A., Boston, Chicago, San Francisco, all the major markets, uh, get your tickets now before they're sold out. To buy, you can go to adventuresofserialbuddies.com. Uh, that's adventuresofserialbuddies.com. And remember, if you support the movie, you're also supporting AfterBuzz TV. Uh, here in L.A., you guys, you can check out uh, Serial Buddies at Burbank AMC Theaters. I know a bunch of us are going this week, and we're really excited. Uh, we were showing the trailer here for a while at AfterBuzz. It looks hilarious. If you're into that sort of thing, it's kind of a spoof a spoof movie on a serial killer uh, genre type of movie. It's hilarious. It looks funny, and we're really excited for Maria and for Kevin as well. So you guys, make sure you guys go check it out this weekend if you're in one of these major cities, um, and hopefully it'll come to uh, other markets soon. What's so the name again? It's Serial Buddies. Serial Buddies. Yes, Got yes. It. Like Adventures of Serial <coughs> Buddies. <coughs> but, I'm going uh, this weekend. What's that? I'm going this Are weekend. Are you? Friday or Saturday? Saturday. Saturday? All right. I'm, I'll probably do Oz. Friday. On Friday, and Cyril, Adventures of Serial Buddies on Saturday. Click. So, cool. Well, so, this uh, this episode, let's wrap it up since I've been all over the place tonight. I think it's just hot in here again. Maybe that's what it's... I've got a thermal I on. I the air coming in. It, it, it happened for a while. Your mind, basically. I, I have lost my mind. Um, so, the end of this episode, we head to Tribal Council, right? And once again, it's, it's the fans heading into Tribal Council. And it's basically down to... Well, possibly, it's down to Laura, and then Eddie or Reynolds. There's, there's one thought process in camp that we needed to flush out the idol. So let's split the vote and send half the votes towards Eddie and towards Reynolds. Reynolds will play his idol, and then Eddie will go home. That's one thought process. But then there's kind of a flip, and, and they're like, well, the other guy is not Eddie and Reynolds. <laughs> the other, the, uh, the bald guy, what's his name? Mike. Uh, Mike and Mike. Matt. Mike and Mike Matt. And Matt. <laughs> they decide, they're like, well, we need to win these challenges. And we need to keep Eddie and Reynold around. We might not love these guys, but we need to keep them around so we can win some of these challenges. So they're starting to make that argument. Sherry's argument is, like we said earlier, does that really make sense? Because we have them around now and we're not winning. So where's, where's the proof in that, in that logic? Um, personally, I think for the purpose of alliances and the people I would like to see go forward, I wish Laura would have stuck around. But I can't say I wouldn't you have like voted Laura? the same. Uh, no, I don't like Laura. I like the rest she of the alliance. She said something really mean about me. Well, I like the. No, she I did. <laughs> what? What did she say? She she I, she tweeted or something about how Ashley and I um, were plucking each other's armpit hairs. She said she would never do such a thing. Well, she's so. never had the chance because her ass got sent right. home. Screw her. <laughs> there you go, Laura. Armpit hairs I know. Maybe How she should have plucked a few armpit hairs. Maybe right. she should have. Stick around. Oh, bad karma begets bad karma. Yeah. Um, <laughs> no, so, but I, I mean, she wasn't a very strong competitor. At all. But I liked her alliance. Right. And so I feel like in the long run, I feel like this gives Reynold and Eddie an opportunity to weasel their way back in. Right. However, though, Reynold did play his idol, and they flushed an idol out which moving forward yep. could have been a great play. Right. They could still switch back, get rid of the dead weight, and now go after Reynolds next time. Right. The possibilities I, are endless, basically. Yeah. yeah, I think it's good for Reynolds if they do merge soon, which usually it's like day 18, which is far away, but it's good for him that it's gone. Because they I know mean, he's a strong player. Exactly. Unless they switch up next week. Yeah, which I Never would love know. to see happen. Out season, they switched up like Early. soon. Yeah. Like, I think... After, right after I went, well, so that was two. So what I'm, I'm curious about is I've been hearing about it. this this relationship or like this uh, romance showman on the show. And I, yeah, Do so you know I'm who? like thinking, no, I don't know who. That's uh, why I'm like I'm thinking there has to be a merge soon because I'm not seeing anybody from either tribe this, this, connecting. This is unofficially our news and gossip. So there's a sh right. there's a showman oh, this season. Oh, so I can't that's think who why it I'm be. thinking it's going to be an early thing because how how soon can you? I mean, it's clearly Philip and Brenda. 
Oh, clearly. Can you, can you imagine? Clearly. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, so I don't I'm know thinking, any bitch. Who, are, who is, yeah. Um, maybe it's Cochran and What Brenda. if it's like Brenda and, and Reynolds? If it was, if what it if was they Brenda? do switch? It's like Brenda and Reynolds. That's go. why she's not getting a lot of airtime uh -uh. yet. Uh-uh. Brenda's engaged. Oh. oh. See, what is do it I Reynolds, know? Reynolds Never. married. Well, that's what I was thinking is he was hooking up with that one girl, Allie. Who was, right. yeah. And he's married. You do oh, watch The Bachelor, right. don't you? You're yeah, right. I do. <laughs> no, but the funny thing is, my roommate is, is good friends with Reynolds. They went to they went to high school together or That's something. That's weird. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's such a coincidence. But um, yeah. So on Facebook, it says he was married in December, I think. And why would I? I'm You're such a stalker. stalker. <laughs> 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 no, so then, no, because I was curious because he was hooking up with Allie on. What does it is, say now? Talk about this a dumb move there. August. What does it oh. say now? I don't know. Probably going to be something. You need to go check and tweet right. us later. No, seriously. Yes, yeah, check our no, Twitters but, later. <laughs> so that's a little sketchy to me. But I want to know who this, like, showmance is. There's a couple of shenanigans going on. I know there's something else coming up that's yeah. going to be, like, what? rock everyone's talk. Oh, I saw the preview it, of it. But oh, Brandon. This else? looks like coming up next week. Oh. Brandon. Yeah, there's some shenanigans. Oh, I've heard about this, He's too. scary. You missed the preview for next week. It's completely oh. out of control. I was, I, well, you I missed the you preview. You don't want to talk about it? Why don't you want to talk about it? Oh. I don't want to spoil anything. Oh. Yeah, I don't want to spoil. We don't spoil on the show. We don't spoil. We don't know anything. No. We, oh, we, we read we blogs. Yeah. Speculation. Yeah, it's all speculation. Oh, well, yeah. I don't. I don't read the media. Yeah, I that don't was crazy. Know. I don't that... want to know. All I want right. to see it play so out. So let's not ruin anything, but let's yeah. take a few moments to go over something very important. Yes. Near and dear to my heart. The reality, reality. Oh, reality, you, reality. You. reality, 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 reality. reality. <laughs> What's wrong with you? <laughs> Who Jesus am I tonight? I'm taking over the show. It's the haircut, I think, is what it is. I got this... Feathered haircut all of a sudden. This I'm, taking over, the show. I'm taking over Let's the show. I'm taking over the show. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about so it. So, Jillian, tell us about Reality Rally, this wonderful organization. How many years has it been? Oh, we're going into our third year, and I'll tell you what, it's crunch time right now because it is going to be so cool again. Tell uh, us a little yeah. bit about it. So, April 5th, 6th, and 7th of this year, right around the corner, we are raising funds for Michelle's place. Uh, Michelle died at 26 because she was misdiagnosed with a lump at 19. Uh, we do it in honor of Jen Lyon oh. because she was also misdiagnosed, died at 36. And Michelle, and then I have a brother that was misdiagnosed at 50. She, he died at 56. So we bring, and we're bringing, I think, our count. We just finalized our count this week because uh, the reality stars all raise money to be there, and their money goes to the charity, so it's not just a huge big fun party. And it is three days of fun for funds. It's going to be so awesome again. The whole town is coming out to do what it What city? Well. You haven't said this. Oh, city. sorry. Temecula, California. Wine country. Southern California so, wine country. Yeah. So everybody, check it out. It's realityrally.com. Um, it is an amazing weekend of fun for funds. I have about 600 people that play a part in it. And you have something new this year online we, you're about to we launch. We do. Yes. We did launch this this weekend. It fully? went on Perfect. fully, except I'm doing a promotion on it in the next two days. Okay. It's uh, Reality Rally Virtual. So you can go onto uh, Facebook, and it's Reality Rally Virtual, and you can play through all 13 of the challenge checkpoints. So it's highlighting our gunfighters and our theater and our museum and, and us and, and everybody. And so everybody out there listening, just go to Facebook, Reality Rally Virtual, and play, because as the reality stars whose Facebook uh, IDs we have, when they play, your scores will stay on the right-hand leaderboard. So mine's the only one up there right now. So I need some other people. Well, we're going to play there. tonight. Yes, you, yes. I need you guys there because I want to. Then everybody out there, I want them to challenge and see: Can you beat Jillian? Can you beat Ryan? Can you beat AJ? Can everybody you beat all of these people? Everybody wants to be people? the reality star. And the the fun part Pressure. about it is is too, it's an income stream. So. Um, if people want to up their score and buy some points in order to beat Jillian, because I'll tell you what, my score is pretty high up there right now, so I don't think you're going to beat me. We'll see. Um, we'll you see. can buy some points, and that money goes to Michelle's place as well. So it's so if you pretty, can't physically pretty make cool. It, you can't physically make it to Temecula this year. Absolutely. And, you know, uh, we're being viewed. Our website is being viewed in 96 countries. That's wild. And every one of the 50 states, because we see that on our stats and our uh, insights, and it's pretty cool. So everybody out there listening, even in Mongolia, <laughs> go get, get down there and play Facebook. Well, let's also tell our, our fans who you know watch our show here, too, you can also donate under AJ and myself still yes. on realityrally.com. You can click our name and hit donate, and you know $5 even makes a Absolutely. difference. I tell everyone that you should do the a cost of a cocktail with a tip. 
There you what, go. If you live in LA, that'd be twenty bucks. What's the line you always say? One dollar, one dollar, or your dollar. Could one dollar could save a life. I mean, so true. you just never know because all the four hundred dollars that each reality star uh, uh, fundraises mm -hmm. for that goes to a mammogram for an uninsured woman, and who knows if it's that one that picks up an early detection of a lump, and that is what saves a life. And that's what we love about so. the organization, you guys. We went last year for the first time. We're so excited to go back this year. It really is just a great weekend. We actually get to go to Michelle's place and and and. And meet meet some of the volunteers and see what actually goes into the day-to-day -day process that is Michelle's place it's such a wonderful organization and meet the, the parents yes. who started it it's heartbreaking but it's also so uplifting at the same right. time Absolutely. which is great it's definitely not a Debbie Downer week at all it's, it's the weekend and and the Honestly, the best, talk about the best part of the whole week. Well, I know that I know that that the fans really get excited to come out because they get to meet us and we do some meet and greets and we do red carpets and we do some wine tastings and things like that. There's a there's a celebrity golf tournament, a reality star golf tournament on Friday, and then um, Saturday morning we do this autograph signing and then we do basically recreate um, a reality show for us throughout all of Old Town Temecula, which is the coolest thing in the world, you guys. There's there are 13 stages 13 this year. 13 challenge checkpoints. And we're teamed up with with fans, fans who've also raised money and, and donated to, to be a part of this. And how many teams do we have this year? I'm going to 80. We had 55 last year and we're 80. going wow. up to 80 this guys, time. That's insane. like 350 people rushing through Old Town. My oh team my got ninth gosh. last year and I can't imagine get, I can't imagine what the teams that got the top eight had to do. I think your team, uh, uh, like 30th did, or 40th? I my team I was too. in, yeah, I you was were, like third. Yeah, yeah but you, we you were, were cheating. You were with the mayor. You were with the mayor of Temecula. You guys raised a lot of money. These other political people. No, they didn't have any. They didn't have any uh, additional we bonuses. Yeah. No, they really? played. No, but there's some. There's always shadiness when Natalie Ten Tenerelli's and involved. a mayor. Yeah, well, and never. a mayor. Two yeah. of them together. Well, I, it, it is seriously so fun. And I will say, like, since we were on our show, it's the closest I've come to like feeling that excitement of a, of a competition again. Because you don't get to do that in your day to day life. Right. And fun. I mean, we got to dress up and do like, yeah, to Shakespearean the, theater. The yeah. Theater we got to pan for gold. We had to shoot and like shoot targets. Yeah. and Lasso stick horses. It's a lot of fun. And, uh, we did a zip line actually at yeah. this event last year. Mm -hmm. It was Very pretty cool. cool. Very that cool. was a nightmare. So, yeah, you guys, yeah. like like we said, realityrally.com is the website. Yeah, you guys can go on there and make donations, check it out, uh, play the game. Yeah, um, so for AJ and Ryan, all you, all you, everybody listening there, just go to realityrally.com, look on the right-hand side, and it says Donate to a Star. Click on that. It'll take you directly to our star lineup. To AJ Gibson. Look for AJ Gibson <laughs> and Ryan Carrillo, Ryan Allen Carrillo, and just click on the and Donate Jerry too. button. Jerry's coming. Jerry, Jerry's absolutely. our regular host. Yeah, Jeremy Click on He's any. So or anybody. I mean, just find somebody to donate a few dollars to. Uh, it's just, it takes two minutes. It'll take you to, you can see the story of Michelle place right on those donate pages and uh, everybody's into charity I mean one dollar could save a life it how really powerful is, is that it really is incredible you guys yeah. take the time to check it out and parties at the wineries right. Wilson and come Creek, to Temecula it's a fun South great Coast. weekend Temecula is awesome. gorgeous it's beautiful awesome. so beautiful I like so. the wineries better there than I do in like Santa Barbara I do too actually it's so much better I, we're going back to Wilson Creek I believe this year on Wilson Friday Wilson Creek on Friday and then Saturday is going to be a new venue at South Coast Winery it's exciting. and it's going to be so cool and so awesome so uh, exciting we have a, a Cuban cigar company Coming, we're sending two master Cuban cigar rollers. Really? Mm -hmm. uh, the one guy's 80. He's been rolling cigars for whatever, since he was like six. Um, they're coming from Cuba to roll cigars. So we've got a cigar lounge. I can't wait. Work. On Friday and Saturday. Uh, it's going to be so cool. We've got an all-star band. Some of our own celebrities are playing in the band and singing and playing guitars and doing all kinds of stuff. We've got a band of about 25 performers that are going to be some local. Eric Turner from Warrant, uh, the band Warrant. Mm -hmm. Um, he's coming, and Brian Collins and Billy, our Billy Garcia's playing, and so it's a huge all-star band on Saturday night. It's going to be—I mean, the entire weekend is so. It cool. literally is. It, it's it's for us. I mean, a lot of these events can be a little bit. They seem a little bit. Uh, mm, how do I say Tony? it? <laughs> yeah, but a phony, but they're also just a lot of work, and they're right. exhausting. This is like a vacation yeah. for us, you guys. This weekend is so fun. So, you guys, if you can get there, check it out. If not this year, next year, because you will be back next year, bigger and better. Oh, every, every year. year. Every year. But I, I want to I I thank you so much for, for coming in. Can I just give oh, one, more, oh, yes. one, one quick got, plug? So, absolutely. Um, and I've, I've got to read some of the information because I'm not huge on it, but Reality, want, uh, Reality Wanted mm -hmm. Awards, mm -hmm. what they've done is they've pulled together this organization of uh, production teams that do reality stars, mm -hmm. and I mean, reality 
shows, and it's like the Oscars or the Emmys for reality shows, and they had 21 companies nominated, and then the Academy of Reality uh, Shows went in and voted for those, and it's voted down to five, and then the winner will be announced on uh, right after us. It's basically the awards evening is on April 11th, which is Thursday, and it is here at Greystone Manor in L.A. Oh, wow. So right now, everything you can want to know about it is on realitywantedawards.com. And we want everybody out there, even in Mongolia, to go onto the website and to vote for all the top categories of what they do. So we're sort of, I won't say partnering, because that's very grandiose and loose from here, but working with them in order to help promote it a little bit. They are coming to Reality Rally. Um, they're going to be a big force there. The production team from Reality Wanted Awards are going to be there. They're going to be playing on a team, so you guys oh, wow. may is have this to so challenge them. Is all this right. what, like, um, Russell Hans is nom I was saying no. something. No, Russell Hans is nominated on the Ryan Seacrest. Oh, yeah. that's right. Oh. That's Something right. Okay. So this is for the Academy Awards uh, for the production teams in reality TV. Oh, okay. But there's a huge big party at the Greystone Manor, so we can all go and have a really good time. And Greystone Manor is a lot of fun. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so come on up and, and, and go on the website and vote and then come out to the party. It's and they'll be there for the April. rally. And they'll be there for and the rally. you know who else is going to be there for the rally? After Buzz TV, you guys. Ryan, uh, Jerry, I and I will all be there covering, covering it for the weekend. So you guys will get to see a lot of fun footage of your favorite be, uh, reality stars. Yeah, running and, around. Yeah, you can see what pretty we Pretty sure I'm going to be drunk. I'm pretty sure. It's, it's wine. It's a winery. Oh, wineries all weekend. I'm, yeah. Yeah. I'm a fan of the wine. Mm. All right. So, so yeah, thank you. Thank yeah, you. Oh, thank you so much for being here. Thank, thank you. you so much for being here, Natalie. Thank yeah. you guys so much for getting through my... my <laughs> Ask backwards, backwards. <laughs> yeah, after show. Um, but where, where can our uh, fans uh, follow you on Twitter? Uh, at Reality Rally. Perfect. Ryan, thank you because you would have known. I'm glad you learned that. Uh, Ryan A. Carrillo on Instagram and, and on Twitter. Natalie? It's, uh, I, I remember this time. <laughs> Last time I forgot. Can we just get to um, it? I, it's Nat Tenerelli. <laughs> it's at Nat Tenerelli. How do you spell Tenerelli? T it's T E N E R E L L I. Uh, Incorrect. And you guys can follow me on Twitter <laughs> at underscore AJ Gibson. Please check out my website, AJGibson.tv. Also, like we said, go to realityrally.com today, you guys. Thank you so much for stopping by. We'll see you again next week. Bye-bye. I Bye. would advise From people Bing. to follow me. Executive <laughs> producers Maria Menounos, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff. We would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. To watch or listen to other After shows and post comments or questions, be sure to visit AfterBuzzTV.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of AfterBuzz TV. <laughs> Buzz, Buzz you later. <laughs> The views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principals.